So your internet, either Wi-Fi or mobile data is not working. So the first fix is we will start any settings. Then I want you to scroll all the way down until we see the general management option. In this one, we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see reset. And so the first thing we're gonna try is either resetting Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings or resetting mobile network settings. So just do which one applies to you. If you reset the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you will have to re-log into the Wi-Fi network and repair your Bluetooth devices. So once we see the settings reset, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait a couple of seconds and then we're gonna press on the power button. We're gonna release, and this is solution one. I have more coming. And then we'll tap the restart button twice. We'll restart our phone. After the restart, if it's the Wi-Fi that's at fault, head right next to the Wi-Fi router, as that's where the signal's coming from. And then we'll just try and attempt the connection again. If still not working, if it's your SIM card at fault, and I'll cover Wi-Fi at the same time, but the SIM card may need a little clean. So we'll just remove the SIM card from the phone. And so we wanna look at the yellow contacts here. If this contact isn't clean, then the phone can't read the SIM card information, which is why your internet may not be working right. So we're just gonna get our t-shirt, jumper, microfiber cloth for you, like your glasses, and just give this a good rub and make sure this is nice and clean, okay? So we'll do that, and then once you're happy, I spend a couple of minutes on it and then just put the SIM card back in. If the Wi-Fi still ain't working, get the router cable for the power and just unplug it for 10 seconds, then plug it back in. That typically helps. Now, let's go back to the SIM card for a second. If you've tried the earlier fixes and we're just not getting the mobile data, well, first thing is we may need to actually activate the SIM card. So open your browser and then Google this, activate SIM and then your carrier. This typically is only for the pay-as-you-go people, um, but if it is a plan, sometimes they may want you to activate the SIM card online. If still not working with the SIM, I'll cover Wi-Fi in a second, you may need to just get a new SIM card from your carrier. Typically, you know, that does help out. Now, going back to the Wi-Fi here, if you see some networks, okay, so you see some of your networks, but not the one you actually want to connect to, then it could be an issue with the five gigahertz or 5G Wi-Fi. Now, this is not a big deal, but the only requirement to fix this is we do need another device. This can be a computer, this can be a phone, which is able to connect to the Wi-Fi currently, even through internet. So first thing is we need to log into our router. For me, I just need to get the app for my router, and then I need to make sure I'm actually on the Wi-Fi network and then it's just gonna let me log in, okay? With you, you may not have an app for your router, and so on the back of the router itself, it gives you login information. When you're on that router, you can go to that website and we'll let you log in. So once we are logged in, we need to locate the channel. So for you, you're gonna have to figure this out yourself, but it's typically in the Wi-Fi settings, if you have that, or network settings. And so we will see channel and channel width. Channel width, you want to set this to the highest possible, ideally 160 megahertz. With the channel, I don't see the channel option, but if you see channel, any channel below really like 60 won't actually show up on the Samsung A14. So you want to set the channel to 151, 153, 155, 157, any number in the 150s, 160s range, you want to set the channel to. So increase the channel, increase the channel width. And then also under bands, if you can't just get 5G to work, you wanna turn on both 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz internet. So if you can't see the five gigahertz internet, you can always connect to the 2.4 gigahertz internet. And so the speeds, they will be slightly reduced, but it won't be the end of the world. If you have watched this far and you've tried everything, Wi-Fi is not working or the mobile data is not working, well, maybe there's a hardware problem, but we can fix that. So don't worry, you're you in safe hands. So we're first gonna turn off the phone. Okay, so we're just gonna power off the phone, enter my login. 
make sure the phone is fully off before we proceed. So the SIM card connection or the Wi-Fi connector may have unplugged from the phone. So we're gonna try and fix this. We'll get two fingers and we're just gonna press with maximum force. I did put your phone on a desk. Just press on maximum force. Truly put your effort into this. Press as hard as you can all the way around the back of the phone. Okay, so do the full back. Do the same for the front. You may wanna get like one hand to stabilize the phone. Take your time. Then we'll get two fingers and we're just gonna tap really hard, maximum force. Okay, so just keep on tapping, maximum force. You wanna spend a good time on this. Do the same with the front as well. You're not gonna break the phone. All right, trust me on this one. And then get two thumbs and just push them together like this, okay? Repeat that for the full, for the full back of the phone. Do the same for the front. I'm just, you know, speeding this up for the video. I'm almost at six minutes, quite long. Once we've done this, spend your time on that. Just turn on the phone and try again. If all else fails, well, unfortunately, friends, your phone is faulty, and so I would book it in for a repair, but um, sorry. I don't know.